what's going on everybody uh, just out here uh, on Brent's trail doing a little backpacking trip tired we just just came up a, the first hill and I tell you what Mr. Backpacking with Buckley you're right this, this trail is a butt kicker already can't imagine if we got 11 more miles of this stuff but we're gonna do a few miles find a cool campsite tonight hopefully finish out this trail tomorrow and then look for an epic campsite tomorrow night also well, I hope you can hear me it's kind of windy we're about a oh, mile and three quarter in awesome trail trying to make our way up there tell you what Iowa straight up straight down that's how you do it's a it's fun though it's a butt kicker so can I get a couple more miles in hopefully and find camp we'll bring you guys along I don't know if you can see me. I don't even know if the camera's on. We're still hiking, looking for a campsite. It's about six o'clock. It's dark. And yeah, freaking wind is brutal. Awesome trail. Definitely don't recommend this trail though in the summertime. I would say it's a really good early spring trail and late fall trail. So um, still trucking along, still looking for a place to put our tents and make supper. So. We're going to hit the trail and hopefully we come across something soon. So right now it's just a ridge on both sides or we're on top of the ridge and it's just straight down on both sides. So we'll talk to you guys later. Oh, well, we found a place to set up camp, kind of an open field area, maybe a food plot for like deer or something. So uh, when it's dark out like this at 630, we decided that's as good a spot of any. Um, tonight for supper on the menu is the Trailtopia beer braised chicken stew. So, using the little Lixada stove and my Lixada titanium cook kit to boil up my water. Um, might wash that down with a hot chocolate, I think. You know, it's it's a little cool. That wind's been uh, pretty raw all the the whole hike, so. So yeah, just gonna boil up some water here for my meal and like I said, a hot chocolate, I think, and get to eating and I'll bring you back to show you the meal and tell you my thoughts on it. Here's the before you add water view of the Trailtopia beer braised chicken stew. Okay guys, I got the beer braised chicken stew opened and I've taken a few bites and it's awesome. It's probably gonna be one of my new staples out on the trail. This is a single serving, which I've come to find out I like way better than the two or two and a half servings. There's just too much food in there for my my appetite. So, but I'll give you a quick view of what this looks like. <clears throat> I know it's dark in here, but I mean, it's got some good chunks of chicken and carrot, some onions, tomato, I mean that is a really <clears throat> that is a really good meal on a cold windy evening. So like I said, perfect, perfect meal for a night like tonight when that wind's just been howling. So I'm gonna eat up. Um gonna tuck into bed here honestly at seven o'clock, right when I'm done eating, and just kinda hang out and talk to Steve O and have a good time. So we'll see you guys in the morning. 
Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> oh, I woke up to a, a nice little bit of snowfall on the ground. That was pretty cool. First time I've been backpacking and had snow come down on me, so that was nice. Nice surprise to wake up to. Um, outdoor vitals. One person Dominion tent without the inner tent. Worked fairly well. But what a windy, long night. Um, stayed warm with the outdoor vitals. Uh, long, wide, insulated sleeping pad. I also put a cheap foam pad underneath that just for extra uh, warmth and a little extra protection from the ground since I'm running this without the inner tent. So, but the tent did well in very, very windy conditions. The sleeping pad did well, it was very comfortable, kept me warm. And then the Aries 15 degree sleeping bag from Outdoor Vitals also did a fantastic job last night. So I'm not sure how cold it got. Um, I got a thermometer laying somewhere down in my mess of stuff. So I'll look for that and go from there. I think Steve and I are gonna just kind of pack up and hit the trail. I think we got about another four miles or so to go till we get back to one of our cars and uh, discuss on what our next move is after that. So once we get all packed up, we'll bring you guys back and we'll hit the trail. We're back on trail, maybe about, I don't know, about a mile in. Came to this uh, little cedar grove here. Would be a really cool spot to lay, or set up hammocks. I uh, didn't bring a hammock this trip. Probably should have in hindsight. But just going to keep on hitting the trail and get back to the car today. It's flipping windy and cold. And I'm an idiot and I didn't bring gloves. So I'm paying for it. So hit the trail i think we got a nice uh view coming up here around the bend so Okay, finally got a spot where the wind isn't howling through here like a madman. I will say, this is a fairly exposed hiking trip, so on a windy, cold day, it's probably about 32 degrees around there, and that wind's probably blowing 25, 30 miles an hour. We got some nice protection from the trees, really cutting it down, but Probably not gonna do a lot more filming just for the mere fact of how windy, cold it is. Like I said, it's just my hands are, are, are cold, getting better now. <clears throat> but yeah, awesome trail. You're around the, oh, 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 oh. Is that a doe? Yeah. That's what I thought it was. I think it was, just had a doe run in front of us. Hopefully I got that on on film for you, but if you're around the Western Iowa area and you want a good, difficult hike, the Lost Hills is it. 
I mean, even in Preparation Canyon, there's some good hiking, but Brent's Trail is a very solid hike or backpacking trip, however you want to do it. I will say though, 10 spots on this trail, few and far between hammock spots. Yeah, you get away with a hammock a little easier than you could a tent here. So just to let you know, but we're gonna, I'm gonna sign off here. We're gonna bust out the last few miles of this, this backpacking trip and get back to our vehicles. So like always, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a great day.